What is up YouTube and welcome to another crib zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I'm about to turn my house into a fish market. Welcome to the What the hell's in your ear? Someone sent in this dog harness right here. It's called the non-stop dog wear. I looked it up and apparently this is a really good mushing harness. So thank you so much to whoever sent this. The harness itself looks really, really nice. I asked, where is that flag from? The little flag that it has in the middle. And someone actually commented and said that it was from Norway. Shouts out all my Norwegians. The aesthetics on this thing is on point. This is by far the best looking harness I own. I also do believe this is the most expensive harness I have. If we look this harness up on amazon.com, here it is, free motion harness. This is a $70 harness. So once again, thank you so much to whoever sent this. It has little padding. The Explorer harness has more padding all around. I just love the way it looks. You guys saw me unbox the dog collar he's wearing and I actually did pimp him out, trip out on this dog collar that he has. I don't know if you guys could see this, but he's got the Louie collar on. His whole outfit right now is worth way more than my whole retirement plan. He's got the Louie collar. I had to Louie it. How I made that was with nail polish, some brown nail polish. I took the brown leather collar and I custom worked it to make some Louie symbols. His outfit went from $80 to $300 just because of the Louie. If people don't see him from up close, they are so gonna think that that's authentic. The only concern I have is him scratching himself and peeling the Louie off. That's when you know it's authentic when it doesn't peel off. I think the collar looks really freaking nice. Damn, look at this lady. I'm saying it's a lady, I'm not sure. Yep, it's a lady. She's gonna run it. No, she's gonna scoot up. As long as she doesn't go reverse. We're having another live stream. I did ask you guys what time and what day would be best for you guys to watch me go live. And a lot of you guys said either Friday or the weekend at 2 p.m. Pacific time that is. Ooh, watch out, watch out. Our next live stream will be this Saturday. This Saturday at two o'clock p.m. Pacific time. If you're from another time zone, go ahead and switch the times. I haven't hosted a live stream in like three months. Look forward to another live stream. Do believe I've only made two live streams on YouTube. They were pretty successful. We had around 100 people strong, but I mean, that was when I had like less than 10,000 subs. I'm really curious to see how many of you guys show up to the live stream this Saturday, September 23rd. Jot that down on your calendars. Make some time for this, because we will be going live. The best. I'm waiting to see at least 400 of you guys. If we have more than 400 people, that would be completely insane. The comment sections are gonna be completely blown up. Try and bear with me. If you guys don't know how live streaming works, everything's live. You guys can talk to each other. Now the chat does scroll completely fast. Last time I did a live stream, the chat was scrolling pretty fast. With 30,000 subs, I'm hoping for at least 400 people to show up. As far as me looking at the comments, I will be trying to focus on what's happening in real life, but I'll also be looking at the comments. Try and keep the comment section extremely lit. I want to see comments scrolling down the page when I do live stream. As far as what I'll be doing in the video, I'm not sure. My last two live streams, they were at the dog park. Things could get crazy during a live stream. I'm pretty sure this live stream will not be at the dog park. The problem with the dog park, there's no guarantee on there being dogs. And if there's no dogs and the dog park's dead, then the video is gonna be extremely boring and it'll be really difficult for me to keep the video going. And since everything's live, I can't edit stuff. Going live is completely crazy mayhem. So I would like to make it even crazier by doing something extremely awesome and being able to show it to you guys live as it goes down. Here are some things that I've been thinking about for my next live stream. One thing I could do is I can longboard with crypto. I do live stream through my phone, so I'm gonna have to be holding the phone. I'm not sure how people are able to live stream with GoPros and stuff. 
I'm pretty sure you need some type of receiver to give off data, but I don't have that, so I will have to be doing it through my YouTube app. I'm pretty sure I won't be doing the longboarding thing. I am planning to have my phone on a selfie stick. Of course, I won't be showing my face, or will I? I've actually done face reveals on my other live streams. Check out my other live streams. What happens on live streams is I tell you guys to ask me questions and I answer some of the questions. There's a thing called Super Chat on YouTube Live, which is pretty much like you guys tip me. And your comment is highlighted. For those people that do donate, after the video goes live, I'll be listing all the people that donated down in the description. This way, this way. There are actually some things called bots. I actually am able to give people certain control of the comment section. I do believe it's called bots. They could either block people and stuff like that. I'm not sure who I'll be choosing to do that, but I do know that I am planning to do that just because I can't keep control of all the chat and all of you guys, so I would need some backup. A really good idea I have, the actual people I know from the dog park, I could just bought them. It'll give slight power to those people. If you are extremely active on my channel, if I notice you a lot, I might give you a bot. The bots are still undecided. I still have to learn how everything works. Just know that there will be a live stream. That's really all I have to say in this video. I want to see all of you guys there during this live stream. I hope you guys are pumped for this live stream. I know you guys have been asking for more. I have actually hosted some on my Instagram. I now have around 1,300 followers on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me. It's at KZE underscore production. I also have a twatter. I've actually never shouted my twatter out. I believe I have like 70 followers. <laughs> so shout out all my twatter followers. What's up? Today, we will be feeding crypto something that we have never fed them before. This is gonna be really gross. I will be showing you guys how you feed your dog. Oh, that's gross. I don't know why I'm scared of fish. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> We used to own two fish. One time we filled their tank up a little bit too full and one of the fish jumped out of the water. When my mom woke up in the morning, he was outside of the water. She thought it was dead. She took one of these, she put it over the fish and she started to bang it. And the fish actually came back to life. He ended up swelling up and he died like two weeks later. His other companion fish also died. They were probably like attached to each other or something. But ever since that, fish have just creeped me the hell out, man. That is, oh, I don't know. I think it just brings back childhood memories or something. But crypto does not give a damn. I've never seen what he does with fish. This will be the first time I introduce fish to crypto. I do know you have to scale the fish before you even consider feeding your dog raw fish. You have to make sure you freeze this thing three to seven days. Oh, it's gonna make a mess. I heard a spoon's really good. So let's go ahead and grab a spoon. Ah, oh! yep, it's gonna make a mess. Do this outside. God, why does it flick to my face? It's all right for your dog to eat all of the fish. I've seen videos where like the fish, like after it's dead and stuff, it like still moves. That would just traumatize me. <laughs> this side's completely scaled. Oh God, that's gross. <laughs> it is a messy situation. So make sure you do this outside. The fish is now freaking scaled. Look at that rat. I got scales all over me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wash this dude. What should we name him? I say we name him Patrick. If you guys want to feed your dog fish and see how they react, make sure you freeze this thing for more than four days. You want the fish? Get it, Crypto. Good boy. <laughs> He's kissing it. I think he's not a big fan of the taste. It might be. Just like his papa, he does not like seafood. There's an eyeball. <laughs> I heard the eyeballs are hard, like a marble. 
Those are a fish's gills right there. Oh, blood. I think he's not a fan of the, the texture of the meat. That might be it. Well, that's gonna go ahead and be it for this one, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.